Hi all, in this we will show how the dome hooks work in Dreamaker. Let's start by adding a cube type dome. The cube dome, is set up to accept hooks. Each image has a different angle, so you need to adjust the angle of the image. Through the dome vectors menu, it is possible to adjust the vectors of the projection on the dome. To facilitate the operation, press the 7 key on the numpad, to frame the top view. Now, that we have adjusted the angle, we need to adjust the dome walls, as they are not well aligned with the image floor. To do this, we take advantage of the hooks, this allows you to interact with the dome mesh. Once the hooks have been added, 25 empty objects will appear, these are the hooks that are used to manipulate the mesh. In this case, I select the hooks, in order to scale their distance from the center of the dome. As can be seen, the image maintains its position, so as to be able to move the walls, in proximity to those of the image. Now, we need to stretch the sides of the hallway a bit to fit the picture better. With this operation, we try to reconstruct the shape of the original environment, where the image was taken. All floor hooks, are preset to move in the X and Y axes. Now, the corridor is too high, so we will use the hook placed on the top of the dome, to adjust the height of the ceiling. We now have a much more pleasant environment. This feature was created specifically to have, in addition to the classic spherical dome, a more interactive dome. This feature is also present in the cylinder dome. The hook's objects, can be hidden during editing. They will not be rendered in any case. Now the hallway, is really a hallway. Let's try to model from another image. Logically, by changing the image, we have to reset the hooks. To do this we can remove the hooks by pressing remove hooks or, simply by pressing add hooks, to reset their position. We adjust the rotation. Let's add the hooks, and make the wireframe of the dome visible, this, as you can see, simplifies a lot as it highlights well, where the dome floor ends. As can be seen, when the hooks are moved, the plane of the horizon also adjusts, lowering itself. If this weren't enough, you can still intervene, from the dome vectors menu to further lower the horizon, in order to better place it, on the border line between the floor and the horizon. In this example, I use spherical hooks which are the default ones. But they can be changed to other shapes. We must try not to create too sharp angles, otherwise the part of the sky could be too visibly distorted, with bad angles. The building at this moment is projected incorrectly, as it does not make a corner, but must be linear. This technique, effectively, recreates a perimeter very similar to the original from where these images were taken. There are some limitations, such as, for example, in this scene, there is a light pole, which results, smeared on the floor, this could be solved, by hiding it, by applying a 3D model, such as a parked car, in order to hide some of the presence. Now we have a much more pleasant and realistic location. This can be exploited, to create animations with much more freedom of movement. This technique can be applied to many backgrounds. However, not everyone will be suitable. It can also be used on imported images. Yes, you can import your image, and do the same as you saw in this video. Now I'm going to show a quick video on how to rebuild a room and a patio. I will put the video at 500x. Enjoy the speed up. Remember to subscribe to this channel.